So I'm not going to speak today from a written word, but rather try to speak to you from my heart about a love we share for what is truly a magic land. About, yes, about the next two years, but more than that, about the next generation. Because we've got to realize, and I know that you do realize, that just as man has broken away from the earth, just as he's broken out of the field of gravity of the earth for the first time in all history, so we've got to break old patterns of thought to fit the new world in which we live today. When I was coming up as a boy and studying accounting and studying it through college, a year was a nice convenient package in which to think. And it was so reasonable, a man planted his crops in the fall and, and they began to grow in the spring and he harvested them in the summer and autumn and he planted them again in the fall. And every year it was reasonable to take account and say, in this year I have been profitable or in this year I have not been profitable in my operations. But that isn't true anymore because the crops that we plant today are not corn and wheat, but mines and lives. And the true measure with which we should balance our books today are not years, but generations and decades. 